What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be going over why you should be using closures over delegates. Now, as you can see, we're going to be using this nice little nifty looking app right here that I mean, you know, we've all dealt with uh, table views and all that other stuff and we're passing data whenever we tap this button into our view controller and we're showing whatever noise that animal makes. Now, uh, before we get into the actual code, let's let me just make my little plug say, you know, if you find the information that I'm giving out more valuable than overpriced Starbucks coffee, you know, one or two two times a, a month, then, you know, feel free to support me on on the membership. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, uh, let's jump over to the code and let's take a look at our storyboard. As you can see, it's just a regular table view controller inside of a navigation, uh, a navigation view controller. And then we have our animals VC or animals view controller. And all we're doing is we're showing this list of animals and, you know, obviously doing this, the, the, the normal stuff that you would do with the table view right and then we we're actually using a delegate that's coming from our animal cell and i'll show you that right now but we're using a delegate we're sending self as that delegate and we have this function in here that is called did tap noise button and then it passes the animal through at which point we're going to be you know using our alert service and creating an alert so that we can present it in our view controller let's take a look at the animal cell and as you can see, this is just normal stuff. Once again, animal cell, we have the emoji label, we have the name label, we have our delegate, the main point that we're actually going to be talking about right now. And then we just have this function that's going to, you know, populate the UI. And then whenever that button is actually tapped inside our, of our table view cell, whenever this is actually tapped, what's happening is it's calling this, um, this IB action right here firing this off and then we're we're going to be using our delegate right here and we're going to be um, calling this function which is called did tap noise button as you can see right there and it's accepting a, uh, a argument of an animal so let me talk about why i think that you should be using closures over delegates now i think it honestly i think it's kind of ridiculous to be creating a whole nother object or a protocol and for for something this simple to to do a function this simple also whenever you go over to your animals view controller you're you're doing you're grabbing this animal cell and you're signing its delegate its animal cell delegate to self which could be kind of misleading also um i feel that delegates should be their actual own separate objects like where they're handling their own things so you would actually you might either be passing self right here, where you would handle it right here, or you would be passing a completely other object which would um, interact with the rest of everything else. It would be, um, it would essentially be holding this function in there, conforming to the animal cell delegate and all that other good stuff. And that would be a separate object. Now, the reason why I say that you should be using a closure instead of this. Like I said, this this seems kind of ridiculous just to have a whole nother object and to you know refer to self when it could be as simple as just using a closure where you could kind of see what's going to happen all within that that space. And you can either use a function to define what's supposed to happen, or like if if we're gonna use a closure instead of a function like this, you could use um you could use a function inside of your actual view controller. Or you can um, also just enter in the code right there and then. So let me show you what I'm actually talking about. So what we want to do is we actually want to remove this animal cell delegate. So I'm going to actually comment out everything that I want to remove from this project that is referring to using delegates. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the animal cell delegate from the animal cell. Oh, also, if you want it, the starter project link in the description for free. All right. Next, what I want to do is I want to remove this, the reference right here to the delegate that's calling the did tap noise button. What we have to do now is go over to our animals view controller. We need to comment out this line as well, which is setting the property animal cell delegate, which no longer exists to self. And then lastly, since animal cell delegate actually doesn't exist anymore because we commented it out, we're going to comment this out as well. 
now what we want to do is we're going to head back over to our animal cell and we're going to implement my proposed solution to this problem, right? So instead of using a delegate, oh, I didn't actually comment this out. Let's comment that out too. Let's comment all that out. All right, so what, what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a function that's just, we're going to have a, a closure that's just like this, but it's going to be just a, a closure on our animal cell. So let's go ahead and add in that closure now. All right, so now what we do is we have this, this uh, closure um, that, that is set in a variable right here called did tap noise. And all we want to do is we want to make sure that this is a closure that accepts an animal as an argument that we're going to be passing into the closure. And then we're going to actually be returning void. We just want this to be like a normal function. It's not going to be like returning anything else like a Boolean or anything. And then what we want to do is we also want to mark it as option optional because it's not going to have a value right when uh, right when we um, start off with our animal cell. Now, down here, what I'm going to do is instead of having a delegate do all this stuff, and forgive me if I forgot to do weak, a weak um, delegate reference or whatever. I know that, you know, that's not the point. Delegates aren't the point today. Anyways, um, we have this did tap noise. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say did tap noise. And remember, this is an optional um, closure. So we have to say that it's optional, we're going to um, do the question mark right after it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the arguments, which are anything on the left side of this return statement. And in this case, we're just expecting an animal. So let's do that in parentheses. And I have this unwrapped animal right here, which I'm passing through because this animal self dot animal is an optional animal as well. So we're going to pass the unwrapped animal through, right? And that's going to go away. So let's go back over to our animals view controller. And now all we have to do is say animal cell. All we have to do is just give the, um, the closure a value. So let's do that. All right. So as you can see, we're referencing the did tap noise closure um, property that we have right here in our animal cell. Right. And we're just setting it to a closure that matches the signature of that um, of that closure in our animal cell. So essentially, we just need to make sure that we're passing in at least one argument, which we're going to just call it animal because it's of type animal and there's nothing that we need to return. So as you can see, we're passing in an animal. So whatever we call this, if we wanted to call it poop. It's going to it's that's perfectly fine, but poop will always be of type animal because that's what we're expecting in this um, closure. So I'm just going to change that back to animal and not poop. So what we want to do now is any functionality that we were going to do before we can do right here. So let's implement that real quick. All right. So as you can see, once again, uh, we are using closures. So whenever you use closure, general rule of thumb is just put this in there. Just throw this in there. Even if you don't understand what it means, just throw this in there. We're just capturing a weak reference to self so that we don't have any retain cycles. So all I did right here was I'm grabbing our alert just like we did in the delegate down here. And we're actually going to do um, we're going to present our alert. So if if all is the same like I'm suggesting that it is then we should actually see the same behavior um, while using closures that we did with delegates so if we go ahead and tap noise for our dog we're actually getting bark still if we tap pig you know the noise for the pig we're gonna get oink still so I just wanted to show you that this is one way to you know get away from using delegates and it's it's I feel like it's a lot less lines of code. Like, look at all this stuff that we commented uh, commented out. I mean, we, we replaced it with this, but also over here in our animal cell, um, we don't have to create like a protocol um, for it. Also, um, this should have been weak. So let me just put that in there for anybody that's going to kill me for not having proper, you know, retains retain cycle handling and all that other stuff. Um, 
anyways, uh, so that's just using closures. Now, I want to also say that another cool thing about closures is that you can tie it to the functionality inside of your view controller. So what's really cool is that you could create a function up here that would handle um, this closure, the did tap noise, and it would actually be even more clean than this. So let me show you that. All right, so as you can see up here in the did tap noise um, function that I just created, I have it um, spelled out. You could call it whatever you want, obviously. And then um, all we need to do is we need to make sure that the the function signature matches our closure signature. So remember, we should be only taking in one argument, which we are, and that argument should be of type animal and the return type should be of type void. And remember that all functions actually look like this um if if you're not returning anything explicitly this is what they actually look like so um it is matching we, we're taking in an argument and we're returning void so this signature matches our closure signature so now what we could actually do is um what i'll do is I'll, i'm gonna put this on the next line and I'm going to comment it out in case anybody wants to use it in the final project, which you could download. Um, and we'll just set this did tap noise to did tap noise. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're using the function's name and none of the arguments. So the correct um, syntax is to have it look like this. If this is a little bit confusing, you could always do self dot did tap noise. If that makes it a little bit more clear to you that we're referring to this function, not anything inside of the cell. So if we go ahead and run this now and we go ahead and hit the noise for cat, we're still getting meow. So as you can see, um, it's doing everything that a delegate would do but I feel that it's cleaner and especially in these cases where you're only going to be doing it for like one little thing. Like, look at this. We would have had a completely separate protocol for just to handle one little action. Uh, it just doesn't really make that much sense. And then also you have to worry about retain cycles. And, and if you really think about it, um, closures are a little bit more open. Like, like it doesn't know what's going to be happening it, it doesn't know what's attached to it it's it's actually more of a separation of concern if anything because um it's so open like anything can just be passed into the did tap noise as long as it, it follows this um this signature so that's why i feel that closures are better than delegates um for these very simple uh scenarios now should you just only use closures over delegates? No, that's not at all what I'm saying. Um, delegates do have their place, but for very simple things like this, where you're only doing like one or, or two different things in a delegate and you're creating a whole delegate for that, it might actually be better to just use closures in those scenarios. So once I figured out how to use closures and I saw that how, how the syntax is laid out and how I could set you know a function to a property on another object it completely changes the way that i code i love using um closures and call or you could also call them callbacks um i love using closures and callbacks and um i just think that it's a really awesome way to to code and keep all your responsibility completely separated so that's all um for all of you that disagree with me i just want to say i do still use delegates in case i didn't make that clear i do use delegates i just don't use them in scenarios like this that are very simple and at the end of the day what it really comes down to is that we're using such a great language called swift that it gives us the ability to code in all these different ways that where we can be very opinionated on how we approach um, our solutions. And at the end of the day, that's what that's that's the awesome thing. So we're all blessed in that sense that we have this awesome language that allows us to do these multiple different things and still accomplish the same result. So it kind of gives us it kind of gives us the ability to express ourselves as a as a developer. So I think that's just kind of cool. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. You guys have been great. Make sure you guys go out there and keep coding passionately, baby. Oh, yeah.